Well, hi, thanks for joining us. I'm Suzanne Lin, and today we are talking to Manish from Scan AI. And Manish, why don't we just start off by you telling us a little bit about your background? Hey, Suzanne, good to be on the show. Uh, about myself, uh, my name is Manish Gurk. I'm the co founder and the chief product and operating officer for Scan.ai. Uh, prior to this, uh, you know, I co founded another company called Endeavor Software, which was in the digital transformation space. Uh, and from there on, uh, that company got acquired by Genpact, and that's how I moved into the business process management space. And, uh, you know, the challenges which we faced there uh, became the, the, the starting point for the Scan.ai. And I would love to talk about Scan.ai and what we do. Uh, yes, please jump on in and, uh, mm -hmm. on, on this uh, talk. Yes. So if what we do is a scan.ai. Uh, primarily what we do is that we we observe the human interaction with the digital systems mm -hmm. and try to get the try to make sense out of uh, what people are trying to do. Mm -hmm. And this is not for one individual or two individual. This is at scale in the large business operations how the people are interacting with those digital systems uh, in spite of having the SOPs and the standard workflow established, uh, we have in our experience seen that a lot of such things are only on the paper, but actually the work is being done very differently. Mm -hmm. What they think is happening is different from what is, is the truth and, and factual that only can be picked up through digital AI. That is correct. That is absolutely correct. So that is what we are trying to bring to the fore for the enterprises to make sense and then do the real transformation uh, from there on. Well, Scan uses computer vision to observe what people are doing. That's what you've been covering. Um, for most people, it sounds a little bit like Big Brother. I mean, you do have to kind of think about uh, possible purchasers and the concerns that they have as far as Big Brother overlooking everything. <laughs> so many <laughs> times, yeah, you are right. I think many of times uh, this question comes to me, and I think now I've answered it so many times to the client that you know, in the middle of the night, if you wake me up, I, I can answer <laughs> this. But but you are right. Uh, this is how it sounds. Uh, but having said that, uh, uh, you know, we treat individual privacy uh, very seriously, mm -hmm. and uh, the the way the platform is built and architected. Uh, we have got enough measures and the safeguards to ensure that uh, you know the the individual privacy is maintained. Mm -hmm. uh, we only observe what is part of the digital process, we, what is part of the official process, and uh, you know give the insight to that. Uh, secondly, I also want to say that. Uh, you know, in many of the areas, even today, a lot of recording. Uh, happens right i mean if you call to any call center all the calls get recorded today for quality assurance right <laughs> for, quality assurance, for the improvement and for right. the customer support and so on and so forth so there are definitely uh, green areas for the enterprises there are some yellow zones where the new age technologies are coming in and there are of course the red zones so we are not even targeting the red zones we are targeting the green and the yellow zones so enough measures are there already you know, I think people are afraid of change and it sounds very um, Orwellian, but if you were to ask um, Henry Ford, ask, have them ask people, what did they want? They would probably tell him we wanted faster horses when the truth was they couldn't even imagine this new contraption called a vehicle. And that's where you're moving into something that you have to be open-minded about and not have fear because of security concerns that have already been addressed by you. That is correct, and I think this is a, this is a truth in in the you know technological and advancement. Uh, we often are not able to absorb the kind of impact that technology can make, and uh, it's not about the uh, being a big brother or being Orwellian because it's about how the technology can help the human. Ultimately, that's what the technology is meant for, right? Absolutely, and that is what the purpose we are also trying to serve through scan. It's not about the individual, what the an individual is doing. It is about what, as a collective group mm -hmm. uh, of those individual, are able to do for the organization and how they can be further help with the usage of AI uh, for them to optimize their work and uh, be more, uh, you know, efficient about it. 
absolutely. If someone is sitting in the front of the computer like you and I are, are you video recording them or are you just taking from what's off of the screen? So absolutely, there is no there is no personal recording which is happening. This is only the screen grab uh, which we capture. Uh, so any interaction which you do on the screen uh, is what we observe. And there also we have enough safeguards and the measures that if you're typing the password and uh, you know any other sensitive information, you you can you can I mean you can I mean platform provides you the flexibility. The product provides you the flexibility where you can you know enable disable those things so that you know those things are not observed or recorded. I'm going to ask you the obvious one. Oh my gosh! I just had a great weekend and I posted about the weekend and I have to know how many people liked my picture. <laughs> is that going to be picked up by scan? Is that something I need to be concerned about? Um, account numbers with my banking, if I hop on to to check that? Not at all, not at all. So I think, as I said, um, there are enough safeguards available in the in the in the product. So you can create the you know the blacklist and the whitelist of the applications which needs to be recorded. Mm -hmm. And uh, so so Facebook.com or uh, or your bank account information. Uh, they don't form the part of the uh, you know the process so mm -hmm. those things will be discarded mm -hmm. only where you are interacting with the softwares which are being used for the work uh, will only get recorded and and uh, that's how we make sense of the work which you are doing for the enterprise absolutely and whatever you are doing personally is is of no use for us so you're saying that you have safe walls that protect against um you know social media um bank accounts, things of really sensitive nature, that's not even, you're not saying we ignore it. You're saying it doesn't even get put on. It doesn't get even downloaded or attracted. Yes. So we have an inclusion list. So we let's say if the enterprise is using five softwares, right, or five applications. So we mm -hmm. just get the inclusion list of those five applications. Mm -hmm. Everything other than those five applications gets excluded. So, so it's not ignored. It just gets excluded. So we don't even you know, go that there to record or to observe. You know, as we're talking about companies and security, I know that the cloud is a concern. How does Scan AI address cloud issues? So first of all, I think the cloud uh, is being accepted by many organizations yeah. today, right? So cloud is a is a reality. It used to be a it used to be a problem earlier, but today a lot of banks, a lot of insurance companies and others are running on the cloud, right? So today, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's not an uncommon knowledge that there are digital banks, they don't have branches, but many of them are running on the cloud softwares, right? Having said that, we appreciate and understand, apart from the individual privacy, it is also important for the organizational data that we put enough measures for the organization to be comfortable about. When we are taking any, any information out of their premises, it is important that they have enough safeguards and enough mechanism by which they can control what goes out and what does not, right? So, right. so things like masking, things like uh, data scrapping, things like uh, complete redaction and uh, anonymization, all those things are, are, uh, are part of the platform. And, uh, uh, you know, so before it goes to the cloud, all those policies can be implemented when the data is being generated and captured. And, uh, you know, once the data is through those policies, only when the data goes to the cloud. So that way the enterprise is, is much more, uh, you know, uh, safe and secure and they, they can feel confident about the data which is going to the cloud. And on top of it, we also give them the log of the data which is going to the cloud so that they can verify if there isn't anything sensitive which is going to the cloud. And that can still be further, uh, you know, abstracted from there on. I think you guys have thought about everything. I thought, well, I'm going to come on and tackle the whole security thing and you and you blew it out of the water. So great job. If someone wants more information, they want to find out about security and how to have organizations that are running at peak performance and finding out uh, truly what's happening opposed to what workers think they're doing. Um, how can they get hold of you? So please do visit to our website, uh, www.scan.ai, uh, or uh, reach out to me personally, manish at scan.ai, or write it on teams.scan.ai. Uh, 
uh, we would be happy to get onto a call, explain you more about what we do, and uh, answer any questions which you guys have. I mean, uh, it'll be great to you know get to know more about what you are trying to do in your digital transformation agenda and how can we help there. If you're a large organization, you could be talking about saving thousands, possibly millions of dollars by uh, streamlining some problems that you might have. No, absolutely. So I think there are there are a lot of tangible benefits and there are a lot of intangible benefits which you are trying to derive, right? So mm -hmm. there are a lot of tangible benefit in terms of the, the bottom line impact we can make to the organization's cost. Uh, but at the same time, we are also the way we are, we are, uh, I mean, in some certain processes, we can impact the uh, NPS and the satisfactions uh, uh, related ratings. And uh, uh, let's say if you have an insurance claim insurance that can be imp impact uh, uh, the, the adjustment expenses, which, which the claim uh, which any every claim goes through, right? So, right. So those kind of impacts we are definitely uh, making to the enterprises, and that's what our goal is. That's wonderful. Scan.ai can get a hold of you, and uh, the, the wonderful organization that's moving quickly to make uh, companies be powered uh, more efficiently, for sure. Absolutely. And Manish, thank you for joining us today. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Suzanne. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.